Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the perfect software engineer. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what combination of attributes make up the perfect software engineer? Well, uh, that's a pretty open question. Mm. So, I can only give you what I find to be the most, usually at the very least, the most desirable attributes. Uh, and then I can give you what I believe a, like the quote unquote perfect software developer has to be able to do in order to well basically make a success of ac everything that person does. So the most desirable attributes in a software developer is first and foremost of course hard technical skills. You have to be good at what you do. But that's only one of the things that you need to be able to do. Then soft skills is a very very strong second place where you need to be able to talk to people, relate to people etc etc. Mentoring is a very strong thing. You need to be able to teach others to be like someone who can connect with other people and explain things in a understandable way to them and that doesn't just go for your co-workers like your juniors or whatever you're doing right it's also actually in many cases stakeholders like you will have customers or stakeholders who don't understand things and you need to have the patience and personal maturity and so forth to teach them basically the things that they need to understand uh, because what you should understand about IT is that uh, as the software developer in IT you are basically what I call the perfect unit of a worker in other words you know everything that is necessary and by that extension being the expert you have to teach everybody else how things work and in many cases you have to learn which is like the fourth thing that you are business minded where basically the fourth thing is going to be to uh, have an understanding of how a co IT company operates all the people that are part of that ecosystem, how they do their job, why they do the thing they do, etc, etc. And you need to be able to connect with them and have an understanding of, okay, these people work this way, they have these needs, uh, the company's making money from these things, we need to be able to do these things, deliver on these uh, uh, goals, etc, etc. And that comes, uh, you could argue that that is part of the soft skills as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, these are the four main things that people are f going to talk about when they talk about like the perfect software engineer. Because you have all these four things down, you are going to fit into practice. You're going to be able to f deliver good, strong, solid software. You're going to be able to talk to people and like they're going to enjoy your company. You're going to be able to teach and mentor new hires. And like, so the more you learn, the stronger the company goes, becomes, which is something that they really want. All companies want that. They want software developers who are good teachers in turn, because as I was saying, the better you are, the better everybody else becomes as well because you are going to share your knowledge with other people which means that the juniors or the less experienced people will be raised up as well which is exactly what you want and then finally as I was saying the business mindset is a very big thing because a lot of the times um, software developers are going to be among if not the smartest people in the room which means that if you understand how other people do their job you are because that's something that very few people really reflect on the essence of what you do as a software developer is to look at something that is happening. Like it can be a process, it can be so you know someone is doing a job in a certain way. You need to figure out how they do that job. It's basically a process. And then you create a more optimized version usually, usually a computer because that's the thing, right? When you find a repeatable process or a predictable process or something that you can optimize with a computer because the computer will allow you to do things faster or so forth and so forth. Uh, that's when you can step in as a software developer. But uh, being, but that requires you, in many cases, to be able to identify that problem 
and to be able to break it down into a sustainable digital solution. And that is the fourth thing, that's the business mindset and being able to understand and relate to all of the different aspects that makes up an IT company. The code monkey type of developer, which is, you know, can have the first three or, you know, sort of, it doesn't have to be a good teacher, you just have to have the first two in order to be that type of person, right? Uh, these people, they are never going to give that big, big return on investment because they lack that ability. They lack the ability to, because they have to be handed work by someone usually who is a product owner or some of the person who in many cases don't actually know what is possible and that's the that's the role of the software developer and you I have so many people who think that that is unfair like why do we have all these incompetent you know this and that and I have to like do code tests and etc cetera, etc cetera. and I go yes and scientists probably feel the same way if not worse like anyone like you you have to remember guys that the world runs on money and business people and people of that type that type of people right so those that sort of role might seem to be an easier time than what you have to do but at the end of the day that is what you have to deal with and in many cases it's just a it's just a different set of skills that you have to deal with but the thing that you are really good at and that's the thing that is nice about being a software developer in IT uh, this is your playground you are the, as I said, you are the lowest level, you are the thing that makes IT. Without you there is no IT industry, none whatsoever. So even though you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders and so forth and a lot of power and so forth, uh, depending on of course how you play your cards, you have to realize that it's going to be very tricky for anybody who is not your type of person like you, anything uh, above you or beneath you, you know, however you want to look at it like, right? Anything that is further away from the coding that you are doing is going to be a person who's going to know less than you do because you are the closest that you can get. Uh, so I think that that is a good mindset. I will add to all of this stuff, this is usually what I argue makes the perfect software engineer. There is one last thing that I truly believe makes you the best of the best of the best if you have these other four things and that is that you need to be able to produce consistent results over time that is what you need to be able to do and the reason why I say that is because practically every single person on this planet is very used to and very good at getting excited about something starting something and then losing interest at, uh, after just a certain amount of time. There is some a concept that we lovingly call orphans in uh, IT where you have, a, and that's usually how it goes, the average software company will just spew, spew, spew out uh, orphan projects where they like to hack on something and then it sort of works and then it doesn't really feel, you know, the new thing happens and then a new thing happens and you just continue and this is how you get legacy, right? And if you have the ability to be that sort of person who understands yourself to the point where you can create a structured work process where you have a good understanding of all the stuff, like you, 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 you this is actually more administrative work than anything else. Uh, in a sense, it's the same sort of skills that you have to develop in order to get really, really fit. You, because you have to develop the discipline to get to the gym on regular times and eat well and like all this stuff. That sort of self-discipline and being able to work in that fashion over extended period of time and then being able to just consistently deliver and actually you know, budget your time and do all these things, that is where you are going to truly shine. Because, uh, as I said, the perfect software developer is all of these things, the first the first things I've talked about, and they're able to do a lot of things short term. But to make that really big impact, especially in a large organization, you're going to have to be able to commit to something for more than a week or two weeks or four weeks. Sometimes a change can take years. And no one that I know of, uh, it's so rare that I find a person like that, has the ability to commit to an investment that is that long where they actually have to maintain it and like actually work at it and if you can get that you change the world or you change a company and things like that this is literally if you this is the same sort of problem that you know a lot of groups 
over centuries have had to work with. If you think about it, there are many minorities or like different groups of people ar across the world, you know, throughout history, who had to, and you mean scientists have the same problem. Some things take so long that the only people who can even uh, you can't even finish it in your lifetime. But you have to move the needle. So that when you die, or when it's not, you know, you, you can hand it off to the next person who can continue doing that sort of thing. That is the fifth one, at the very least, for me. So what I want you to take away from this is that I argue that the perfect software engineer is number one, strong technically in tech, tech skills. Number two, strong soft skills, pleasant to talk to, like good to relate to, has, you know, can I share a laugh with the people, etc., etc.? Uh, a good mentor is able to connect with people and make you know, simplify things so that people understand what's going on, why we're doing things, etc., etc. Has a business mindset, understands how to talk to different people who have different roles within the company, and understands like sort of how IT business work and like what's going to be useful and what's not going to be so useful, etc., etc. And the fifth, which is my secret one, is to be consistent over time, to be the sort of person who can start doing the work and just keep at it f until it's done, regardless of if the si thing is going to be done in a week or in a year. If you can be able to track your own progress and make sure that you are, as I said, as go someone like going to the gym, if you keep at it, you will definitely see results. Most people, not even the most die-hard best programmers that I know, is able to do that part. And that is a very useful thing to be able to do. Have a great day.